What? Oh, okay. Hey, that's what's up, man. That's crazy. He should have, hey. I mean, he, so basically, but that's what's happening, man. These people that ain't really hip hop get into hip hop and mm -hmm. running hip hop. And then Benzino, a street dude, came through and just did what he do as a street dude. And as, if I'm getting this correct, like you said, and it just, man, it just spiraled. I mean, it was a whole incident where, man, it was a Paul Pierce incident up there. They was throwing it. I mean, I mean, it's real though. Like, like I seen, I seen the cats when I was up. You know, we uh, was at the venue and stuff like that, man. It just, I mean, Boston people think it's a game, man. Boston is is, is for real. That's a hey. Boston ain't for us. I've said I, that I, many, I, many I'm times. You, man, it's, <laughs> Boston is real. Like Boston is real, man. People talking all this, but hey, don't get it twisted. Beantown is real, but it's a great city, though. I mean, it is a great city. I right, big, big up, visit. man. I went, I went, to, <laughs> I went to the Red by the Red Sox Stadium and all that, man. It, it's, it's a big, it's a big, um, big sports town. If, if any, if nothing else. But man, we got the uh, the great AJ Davis coming through the studio, man. And uh, we definitely gonna state legend. We gonna go ahead and get into a little bit more of this barbershop talk, man. I want to know what's up with Mr. Kelvin Sampson, man. And five major NCAA violations. I mean, what's going on? His fate hangs in the balance. Over the last week, you know what I'm saying? Michigan State, he took them down. And then he took down Purdue. So, I mean, what, what's going on with him, man? Do you think he's just breaking rules and, and uh, not caring what the, what the NCAA talking about well, at all? Well, he, he cares now, Rick. He, he cares now. He, uh, he came to a uh, – they reached a settlement. He is no longer the Indiana coach you as of lying. late last night. Yes, what? late last night, exclusive. He resigned. So, um, it, I'm, yeah, fire. You're right. You're fire, right. Basically for, fire. for all intents and purposes. And, and he wrote, he, he uh, signed an agreement not to pursue this any further because he was in the wrong. I mean, what did unfortunately, he, do? Um, he made a set of phone calls to recruit. And then, and which is not that bad, but when you're investigated by the NCAA and they ask you, uh, by the way, you had this problem in Oklahoma by calling kids excessively. Um, did you do it again in Indiana? He was like, uh, no, not me. But listen, he's getting paid, though. Big shout out. To, let him know, Rico. My man, man, Rico, he, Kevin Sampson is getting paid. Don't don't trip. Oh, um, he's getting paid. That, that, that's right. But so, he just, I think his days of major college basketball are over. That's the I don't think thing. so. I don't think so. Look at your boy that made a comeback. Uh, and the coach from Michigan... Uh, with the Fab Five, he came. He didn't back. make a comeback. He did. He went back out and got a job at San Diego, and they yeah. did their thing. They went to yeah. the tournament San, and all San, that. San Diego, but where they at now? But I'm just saying, man, <laughs> he's gonna get another shot. D1, he don't. He, he should have stacked enough money by now, but he don't. You he would, hurt. You would think. He left Jeff Capel with a with a. <laughs> what did he leave Jeff Capel Jr. with? Uh, Sitting on doo doo. Hey, oh, the th man. the thing is though, what makes me so upset is now after with Indiana. First of all, if you know anything about Indiana, the fact that they hired Mike Davis after uh, Bobby Knight was was a coup because that that just don't happen in yeah. the state of Indiana. And then on top of that, they went after Kelvin Sampson. So they'll never hire another black coach. You crazy. I don't believe at that. At Indiana University. I don't believe I'm telling you. Tripping. You don't have no I knew. Look, look, not. Mike Davis took him to the championship. He and, did and, and with Bobby Knight's player. But look, Kevin, but he still coached him. He coached him, though. That's and, the same knock on Roy Williams. He took he took uh, he had Carolina. He, and Barry would say, that's exactly right. That's exactly right. So I just, I hate the fact, and he's a North Carolinian. He's a lumpy Indian. Well, hold North on. Carolina, Kevin Sampson. Do you think this is a black and white issue? Q ball, I'm gonna pose that to you. <laughs> well, don't, well, if if they pick Isaiah Thomas, they need to get their heads examined. He. He is an Indiana hero, but what in the world has he done with the Knicks? Proofs in the, well, I don't know. Proofs in the pudding. But they're back. Kevin Sampson got them. Why the you gonna bring? Team. Why you gonna bring Isaiah Thomas in? 
Man, look at we done depleted the New York Knicks. The Knicks are sorry. Matter of fact, we got five guys in here that can beat the Knicks, or at least be competitive. Hey, hey look, I tell you this, Flip. <laughs> what we do, Flip? I, you got you got Randolph. I'll take Jamal Crawford. We, we, he said we can go with our starting five in here, and we can go uh, to the and Knicks. play the Knicks right there the in, right in the garden. Hey, hey, look, look. Come on, Flick. Hey, Flick, you can't handle Zach Randolph. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hey, look, I, I, well, I got, I got, I got Crawford. I think I go tip and tap with Crawford. You know what I'm saying? Except when, it, except when you have to play him on, on the defensive end. Hey, I let him get his. I yeah, hit, oh, I, we I know. Ole. <laughs> <laughs> How's it cheating? Come on. Cheat, but look, hold on. You know what really what really did it for Kelvin Sampson? This is what really did it. When he took that that guy from in Illinois, the Illinois coach, when he took uh what's the what's the guy now? Joe Crawford? What's yeah, his name? Gordon. Uh, Gordon. Eric Gordon. When he took Eric Gordon from the cusp, they he had already committed yeah. and everything. He said, you come with me, young Sign, father. sealed, and delivered. <laughs> I don't know what Kelvin Sampson did to get that boy, but hey, it won't work it. Because oh, I think yeah. if he left Eric Gordon alone, he would have still been the coach of Indiana. There's there, there's some truth to that. There's some truth to that. But hey, he and Eric Gordon. Go yeah, he, he got to be. How you going to tell me this man going? We know. I know for a fact. I tell you Eric that. Eric Gordon is history. He's like George Washington after this year. He Indiana. gone. He gone. And Kevin Simpson, this is my thing. Why would you risk? Why would you risk millions of dollars to get? I mean, he's a well-known coach. It's not just cheating. He's built a legacy. You know what I'm saying? A following. Why would you risk it all on a player? Like, that's, now that's the only thing I can say about a Herb Sendek. Or somebody like that, he's gonna do it the right way. Herb Sinner might win five hundred, and that's it. But <laughs> but he's gonna do it the right way and keep his job. None of this, none of these allegations and stuff. But that's why I want to ask y'all: Is it a black and white thing, or is it just he cheating and cheating? He just cheating. cheating. He just cheating. He okay. Just cheating. I, I mean, I don't think it's a black and white thing with this. No. I think I'm asking. Hey, I, I got the ads. This radio, <laughs> baby. Barbershop talk with Ricky Eddie. <laughs> but you know it is done flick all over the country they do it all over the country and he just his major mistake well he got caught <laughs> but I mean he could have gotten over that had he admitted to making excessive calls to the NCAA he would have been fine but he lied and so therefore adios goodbye hasta la vista all that good stuff to Sarnar and Kelvin Sampson, we'll see you later. We're going to go into this break. We want to hear from you, 919-546-9284. Again, that's 919-546-9284. You're listening to Barbershop Talk with Rick and Eddie on Power 750. When we come back, we got a special a special guest for y'all. Who we got out there? My main man, Tyree. Tyree and AJ. Tyree. AJ and Tyree Douglas is here. So, so we're going to go ahead and the 13-year-old phenom to be, baby, here in the building. So we're going to go ahead and get him on here in a little bit. And uh, we got AJ Davis, Cleveland Browns, cornerback in the building, baby. Barbershop talk right out to this Raheem Devon. Winning weekend. Harlem Globe try to tickets. Jill Scott tickets. Man, come on, man. Come back with us and join us, man. And get these tickets. I'm trying to give them away, people. 919-546-9284. Yeah, yeah, yeah.